Hi everyone, it's Tiffany here, tuning in again today. So yesterday I was at Vanessa's Messages from the Future at Alternity, and I got back from home and felt this urge to talk about shadow work, something that I've been putting off <laughs> and just human as well. But I heard very clearly from my guides that it is now time to really embrace this healing modality that I offer to my current clients. So as a healer for the past two months, the main theme that I've been seeing is more and more people are coming to me for shadow work and past life regression. So it seems like what I'm sharing with my client needs to be shared with people in my community as well because we are all one and if one person is wondering and needing this information, I'm sure that there are many of us out there that would appreciate the knowledge as well. So shadow work as an overview is basically what um, we do when we bring the unconscious to the consciousness. You know, when there's a dark room, we bring the light of our consciousness deep into that room. What is in that corner hiding right there that I don't know of? That's what shadow work is. Now, I'll give you a story of how shadow work transformed my life. Um, as many of you know, uh, for me, in high school, I'm a teacher's pet. I always wanted to get that 90% on a test. I'm always on stage performing. I'm always involved in clubs and communities, always volunteering. But with that facade, a lot of people, what they didn't know is I struggled with depression. Um, I was, you know, during those times, even starting to be late for class, uh, having panic attacks, but I didn't know what they were. Until I went to university, the depression really hits and it got to a point where I was sleeping 16 hours a day. I was eating one meal a day. I was less than 80 pounds. I was literally dying and I was always trying to, you know, think of ways to kill myself because I didn't know what this is or how did someone like that drops down to what I am now? Why am I in the suffering? Um, so one of the patterns that I see myself keep repeating while I was in this depression was I keep attracting men that are emotionally in unavailable, who really doesn't give shit about me. But consciously, I'm like, yeah, consciously, I want this healthy relationship. I want someone that values me, uh, someone that is here to build something amazing with me. So why is it that consciously I'm looking for this, but when I actually go out and do it and ask for it, I get the opposite of what I want. <laughs> so with shadow work, um, what I realized was when I was young, I was living in a really violent household. Um, my father um, would beat me to the point where I am lying on the floor unable to walk. And I wouldn't even know what I did wrong. Um, parents would fight. There's always money issues, and I didn't. I, I thought it was really normal. I didn't think that it was something that's not normal. <laughs> I just thought, oh, everyone goes through this. It's normal, <laughs> but it wasn't. And I'm not sharing this to blame at my parents. They did their best, and they were the most loving parents that I could ever ask for. But they're very young, and like all of us, we make mistakes. We gotta learn from our lessons. That's the whole point of reincarnating into this earth. So subconsciously, I was always telling myself that this is how a man would treat a woman. So I would went from relationships into relationships and they just get worse and worse. I'm like, okay, he doesn't care about me or he cheated on me. Uh, he disregarded my feelings. If they would raise their hands on me or really hurt me emotionally, saying things that are really, you know, making me feel small, degraded, I wouldn't say anything because I grew up um, where I'm not allowed to speak up. You're supposed to be obedient, sweet, caring, regardless of what happens to you. And that's just how men treat women. At least that's what I thought. 
So subconsciously, I am emitting this vibration out to the universe and it's reflecting back to me what I was emitting. Um, so if you want to think of us, soul or source, whichever term that works best for you, when we come down and with this energy of consciousness coming into the physical being that we are in right now in this space-time reality, if it is a flow of river of energy, every single time a trauma happens to us, no matter how small you think it is or how big it is, a part of the stream fractures off. And so you see the stream of river fractured off into little streams. And imagine having multiple trauma happening in your life. Your source stream becomes so blocked by these trauma and traumatic events from the past that you're not really taking the whole wholeness of what you blessed with when you came into this dimension. And then you started to see symptoms like depression, anxiety, and post-traumatic stress disorder. I've dealt with all of those. I was a fucking mess. I know what it's like. And um, with shadow work, it really brings me into the space where I felt safe to dive into my consciousness and find out exactly what is causing these repeated patterns. I have to dive deep have the courage to really commit myself to this healing process. It's not for the faint-hearted. It's not someone that's like, oh, um, you know, I'm just going to go for like one session and that's it. I really committed myself to this healing process. Now, of course, I also in, uh, integrated other modalities as well, like meditation and yoga. But shadow work was the last piece of the puzzle that I needed to move on and now manifesting my twin flame. Uh, wonderful man that loves me, sensitive, always caring about my feeling, exactly what I wanted in a man, and manifested the life purpose that I'm here to do, to be a healer, to serve, to serve humanity, and, and to help my current clients to heal from their trauma now. So how was I able to do that? It was through commitment to myself and also with these different modalities, and more importantly, the shadow work to complete this whole process. So I'm going a little bit long right now, and I just wanted to end this video for the first part of um, shadow work. In my next video, I'll go more in depth into what shadow work is and how it could benefit you. Um, please share this video if you think that this would be helpful for someone. Uh, struggling with similar situations that might be a tool that they need and thank you very much for tuning in thank you for being here and being very supportive i will talk to you guys soon bye